is Marisol. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico, from the C3 Tech. And I think the biggest misconception of the public is that science learning is not fun. So we're trying to make it very fun, very cool to learn and do things and construct and do innovative thinking and, and creating. I'm Kristen Lee from Explora in Albuquerque and I think the biggest misconception people have about science centers is that we have all the answers. Really we rely on the community to let us know how we can be the most relevant to them. John Winyard, Science Alive Christchurch, New Zealand. Um, the misconception is not with the centre, it's the fact that the public sees science as difficult and therefore going to a centre isn't something they're interested in. I'm Robin Burlingham and I'm from the Science Centre in Ithaca, New York. And what do you think the most, biggest misconception is? I think the biggest misconception is that uh, people think science centres are for um, wealthy, educated people and that it's elitist. Hi, I'm David Sittenfeld from the Museum of Science in Boston, and to me one of the biggest misconceptions about science museums is people think that they're just for kids. Um, we do a lot of things for family audiences, but more and more I think museums are translating current science for all sorts of different kinds of people. It includes adults who are decision makers and thinking about the ways that we use science and technology in our lives and all the societal implications of, of that. Matt West of Informal Learning Experiences based in Denver, Colorado. And my sense of the uh, perception of science and technology centers is that they are places for families with preteen children where the parents are, are caretakers and facilitators but not equal participants in the experience. Um, I'm Melanie Fox. I'm a PhD student from Indianapolis. Um, I would say the biggest misconception I've heard is that science and technology centers are for kids. There's not things for adults, um, but I think that there is a lot of value for adults and uh, things that adults could learn and get from them as well. Mm -hmm.